Welcome to Susan's Garden. Um, today we're going to do the dahlia and it's a flower that my grandmother grew and was known for her prize winning dahlias. And I'll tell you a little story when um, she passed away in 1973 in the fall and the following summer, um, although she had a field of dahlias, not one came back up. And we all said that grandma took the dahlias to heaven with her. So it, it has a lot of good memories for me and it's a beautiful flower and lots of varieties. The dyes, um, which are the, the three sized flowers and the center and the leaves, they come in the seed packet and they will give you the beautiful um, finished flower that you see here. Now, I'd like to add some shading because if you've ever seen a dahlia, it has some light and dark areas. So I've gone ahead and taken the larger piece. Now what we're going to do is it comes with just one of each of the petals, but I'm going to cut four of the larger dies. I'm going to cut th uh, four of the, the medium and two of the, the small. And then this one center flower that you see right in the tight, the, the little cluster there, that's going to roll up and you're going to cut one of those. So let's add a little bit of chalk and we, we've placed the piece on our nonstick pad. You can see I've already started some shading, but I'm just going to push up with a little bit darker shade than what my cardstock is. And at this point it's the pink or, or rosy color. I did an the orange one there and I did shade it with a little bit of yellow inside because as you look down the flower you can see that shading, the variation of shades. So then the piece comes over to your, your molding pad and we're going to use the large end of the loop tool and again because there's a wider end of the petal to the narrow you're simply going to shape it by pulling back in so if you, if you take your loop tool and place it, I try not to hold down where I've just shaped. I, I let the paper kind of move unless I just have to gently hold it in place while I'm shaping it. That way I'm not pressing down on it as, I, as I've taken the time to shape. So we've done all four petals and I will do that four times on the large and I'll do it four times on the medium and then two on the small. Now the other thing you've noticed there's I've added a little bit of definition on the petals and I've gotten that by placing them on the leaf pad and using the leaf tool. If you just stroke a few lines it gives that definition of the, the petals a little bit more than, than just the regular shaping. Again, it's all about detail when you're making these flowers because the closest you can come to nature, the prettier your bouquet is going to be. Now I am going to do some pinching and bending and you can do one or two things. You can put your tweezers all the way in as I've done here because what I wanna pinch is really the narrow end and pinch around. If you know dahlias, some of the pinches are up like this or some of the pinches curve downward. If it's a downward variety that you're making, just simply put it on the underside and pinch around it. But for this, today we're making one with the pinch up. And I will do that on all of the petals just like I, I have done on this large one. The assembly is quite easy. So if we set them on our, set a large petal on our nonstick pad, we're going to start by gluing them in place. And I like to use a toothpick with a little bit of glue on it. And I'm going to turn the next petal. This would be the third of the largest ones. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right in the center there. Now I'm going to offset this on my nonstick pad just like that, that's the first layer. I'm gonna continue doing this and it'll offset a little bit more and a little bit more until you get the flower. Now, the way we did the, the center one, it's a rolled um, center. I have also added a little bit of shading onto this and you'll notice from your die cut piece, there's like little tabs so you easily can catch your your tweezer on one end 
And again, we're going to do a little bit of painting of glue. Instead of just adding the, the one section, I want to really hold this together. And I'm going to just make sure that's covered lightly with a little bit of glue. And then put it on your finger and roll it towards itself. You can seal it around and hold it there for a second. And that gives you your nice closed center that you see. Now the leaves, they're done like the leaves I do each time. The only difference besides the, the stem line, I've also add veining to this. So I'm going to use my leaf tool and placing it on the leaf pad. If you stroke downward and you can highlight it with a little bit of the green that accentuates, as you can see, the difference. And then place it on your leaf pad again and add some vein lines to either side. And I'll do that on either side of this one. And this is where your tweezers come in. Go ahead and pinch that stem end and then bend down the center. And then all you have to do is dip your end into the glue and it tucks under your flower nicely to add a nice little bouquet of dahlias. A whole little garden of these, they're pretty special to me. I hope they are to you.